Good evening, guys, and welcome to another episode of Big South Outdoors TV. Feast your eyes on this. Don't worry about getting old on you. You can, you can wash up after. Falcon Wild Pink AT3 All Terrain. All right, guys, as this channel uh, pretty much says, we do things outdoors. But today it's been so hot, uh, heat index of over 100 degrees. We decided to wait till it cooled down a little bit and do this from our studio. What we're gonna be doing today is the mystery tackle box. I got a mystery tackle box subscription for this past Christmas. I got a yearly subscription for the uh, largemouth bass package and like I said I got it at Christmas so I've had it for about six months? Seven months. Seven months. So this is my seventh mystery tackle box and I have nothing but positive things to say about Carl's Bait and Tackle. So without further ado let's get into it. Go ahead and open it up. Tape. Hey, I got a knife if you need it. Okay, what's inside? With every mystery tackle box, they give you one of these don't pay shipping add to your box cards, and on the other side, it tells you what's inside. Uh, first is a Guggen Squad Filthy Frog. That one. Uh, 10,000 Fish Yoto Worm. Lifted Jigs SLM Swim Jig. A Lake Fork Tackle Magic Fry. And a Daiichi Extra Wide Gap Hooks. Quick thing about Daiichi, they're actually the sharpest hooks in the world. They're the sharpest hooks ever made. Ooh, that looks nice. On the back here of this next card, they give you, like, um, what would you call that? Like, places to... Yeah, a points on the lake, you you can fish it for the, most, the best results. Yeah. And uh, on the other side, it shows a picture of the filthy frog. Um, I hope that's the that's the color I got. Cause that I don't know good. what part of the country y'all live in, but where we live, all frogs are filthy. <laughs> that is very good. They're good for fishing. That's about it. Quick story. I was outside and it was really hot. And mom, my mom, uh, Flossie, told me to open the umbrella we have outside. We've got one of those round tables with the umbrella in the middle, and you crank it open. Well. You know what's about to happen. I started cranking, and all of a sudden, I felt something wet on my hand. And I took, I thought it was a leaf that fell from the top because it hadn't been open. Stop! Because <laughs> it hadn't been open for a long time. I thought it was just a wet I was leaf. At, I was at work. I was not privy to this. Yeah, he was making a video. Um, I, It was had been raining a lot, so I just thought it was a wet leaf from the wind that had blown from the trees next door onto the top of the umbrella and it got loose when I started uh, cranking it open. Mm -mm. I I shook my I took my hand out and shook my hand. I didn't even look at, at it. Then I heard something go on the table. I looked down, it was a tree frog and I put two and two together really fast. I was like, that little that, that little sucker was on my hand. And I, and, and I went oh, 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 and ran, and took off. Before we get too much deeper into this, guys, um, I want to give a shout out. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Megan, to Sean, and Turkey for the gift. Appreciate it, guys. If you haven't subscribed to, subscribed to their channel, go find the Hillbillies on YouTube. They're great guys, great people, and um, they make you laugh, for sure. They do, like... Uh challenges like spicy challenges sour challenges gross challenges and they also do like pranks between sean and megan and um and their son colton he said he's his next na his nickname is turkey but uh, his name's colton he's the cutest thing oh he's, he's the adorable cutest, he's the cutest baby you'll ever see Whoa. next thing is okay the it's called the di the dibble 
tips and treats for me mr tackle box this it's like a it's like a brochure pamphlet kind of thing and it just it gives you frog fishing 101 and um how to fish a how to fish a swim jig in two minutes and then it gives you some information on the back and everything. Fun facts and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, and it's just it's it's just a little pamphlet to help you get started on using what's in the Mr. Tackle Box that you just received. Next up we have the uh a little this this Mr. Tackle Box has a lot of pamphlets. Yeah, it does. This is uh the uh ten thousand mm. fish Yoto worm and where to fit that. And this one actually has pages, it's not like a little card. Shows you, it's like, I guess it's like a, it looks like a trailer for some stuff. A uh, trailer, it shows you how to fish it as a trailer, as a Texas rig, with a shaky head, or with a drop shot. And where to fish it with those different things. Sorry guys, I don't mean to be yawning, but I'm kind of tired. Okay, here's the actual tackle. This is the, uh, Lake it's, Fork. It says it right there. Lake Fork. Tackle Magic Fry. Garlic and salt impregnated. I don't even want to know how that process happens. There you go. It's 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 almost like um earthworm, um what do you call this? It's almost like a Cinco. It's it's designed a little different, but that's pretty much it's in the same family as the Cinco. Next up, put all the tackle over here. Push that thing up there. Oh my goodness. This is the Guggen Squad Filthy Frog. This thing looks awesome. And even says eat me on the back of it. <laughs> on the top of it. <coughs> it says on the back. The Guggen Squad Filthy Frog is a 100% weedless, hollow-bodied hero. Designed to catch fish in the thickest slop. It features a heavier than most internal weight to balance and ag casting distance. Protective tubing around the hook blocks water from entering the body and an angled nose uh, avoids mucky buildup on your bait. Pro tip, the filthy frog performs at its filthiest on a heavy action rod spooled with braided line uh, 40 uh, pounds or over. I gotta take this thing out. We'll take it out. This thing, I wouldn't be surprised, knowing Guggen, I wouldn't be it surprised looks, if it's scented. It looks saucy. Look, check, check. What the heck is that? The backing for the, the, the. That makes me look weird. It's the backing for the packaging so you can see the frog better. It's sort of like a mirror. Oh, and it's got a cover over the frog. Okay. This thing's protected like Fort Knox. That is a actually a very big frog, bigger than what I've seen. Is it? Let me feel see it. That. Feel it. This thing, ooh, it smells like peppermint. Ooh, smell are, it. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It smells like peppermint. Now, guys, for the for for you new it's fishermen not, it, that have never used a frog, these are a very 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 effective top water bait. You can fish them in open water. You can fish them on lily pads. You can fish them across grass. You know, the kind of grass that this is the surface of the water and you can see the grass floating on top of the water. You can fish them in those conditions. They'll just skip and, out right over And they'll, they'll just, they just dance right over it. And these little skirt things here are, they are put there to imitate the frog's back legs. Some fishermen, I've seen, I've seen Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV, and I've seen Norm from Fishing with Norm trim these to the length that they like. You can do that, or you can leave them the length they are. It just, it just depends on your taste, uh, your fishing environment, uh, the conditions you're fishing in, and you know, it, it, there's very, very, there's a lot of factors involved, but. Um, yeah, I've seen a lot of the fishermen on YouTube do this and uh, trim them like that. And whatever you like to do, 
is totally up to you. It's it's your lure. You can do with it what you want. But I was at a friend of ours house, um, not locally here, and uh, Nate here was fishing one one of these frogs. It was actually a, a booyah frog, and a bass hit it, and he he missed it, and he uh, with the conditions the way they were, the bank was real slippery. It was actually your birthday. Yeah, and he wanted me to see if I could catch it. Well, I landed that fish, and we'll see if we can find a picture of that fish and put it right here. And uh, I've, got it was a pic a, I've got a picture of it. Don't it worry. was a four and a half pound largemouth, and I mean he destroyed that frog. But this is from um, the Mister Tackle Box, and like I said, it smells just like peppermint. I wish we had some elevation. Yeah, I mean it, it's and the, the scent is put on it to attract the fish. That's what it's for. And, uh, yeah, if I had to put one word on this, it would be sexy. I mean, that's a cool-looking frog. I mean, I can understand why it's, um, scented, but, I, I mean, you're, a, fro a fish is down there eating. Let me, let me see it. I want to check A fish something. is down there eating, like, earthworms and stuff. You're probably, it's probably going to need some breath mints every now and then. Okay, one thing I did notice just now, you look at a booyah frog, or you go to Walmart and buy one of their $1 frogs, or you buy a scum frog. Right here where the hooks come out, there's a hole. And what happens is, water seeps in. As you're working that lure, water seeps in, seeps in rather, to that hole, and it weights the frog down like this. And eventually, you have to pull it up, squeeze it out, squeeze the water out so it'll sit level in the water. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but... They have sealed that hole up. So you you most likely, now we haven't fished this frog yet, so we can't really say. But most likely you won't have that issue. Or if you do, it will be after dozens of casts. So time will tell yeah, I don't, I don't and water, we'll let you know. I don't think water is going to be getting that, do you? No, I don't. Now I want to talk, I want us to look at this myself. Oh, I got it. I got it. I was, I was, it was, it was on its way out. Okay, we'll talk about these. Okay, this is the Daiichi Extra Wine Gap Hooks. The world's <clears throat> sharpest hooks. They look like worm, uh, worm hooks. And those are my, those are some of my favorite hooks. The wide gap, I love wide gap hooks. Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness! It, this shows you how, um, how sharp they are. Okay, guys, look right below the word Daiichi right here. I'm about to show it to you. It shows brand X, brand Y, and Daiichi. Look, and that's the tips of the hooks. Look how much different the Daiichi is. That's crazy. I mean, look. Brand X, Brand Y, Daiki. Look mm -hmm. how sharp that one is. Oh, yeah. The other ones are torn and stuff. Now, what we got here is called a Jilted Jigs. Lifted lifted Jigs. L or Lifted jig. I'm SLN sorry. SLN Swim Jig. It's a Swim Jig. And I'm going I'm to very carefully take it out of the package so you can see it. My big, finger, big fingers don't, don't do well with these. No, I'll get it. Just gotta, I gotta get my fingers down in there too. There we go. I'll get the hook. I, I will. So. I will. I've done that more than once. Thankfully, it wasn't past the bar. Okay. Now, a lot of people say, what's the difference between a swim jig and a regular jig? They're pretty much both one and the same. Just this one is designed, you see how that head is so slim, it just cuts through the water. It's designed to do this in the water, all the way through the water column. As you pull it through, you can actually bounce it like this. Also designed to swim like this slowly through the water column. And this thing right here, for there, there again, for you um, recreational fishermen or first-time fishermen, this is your weed guard, this, this little thing right here. It's your weed guard. When you're coming through a lily pad and it's down below, it'll hit like that and keep the lily pad matter 
from hooking onto your grabbing a hold of your hook and snagging you. <clears throat> you can run a trailer on these, um, match the color, and you can run a trailer on these. And all what a trailer does, it gives you a bigger profile for the bait, which attracts bigger fish. So that's the swim jig. Say that again, I missed it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now. I'm trying to get these out. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 this is mine I'm talking about. <laughs> um, you want to say anything about the box? I will do, we'll do that last. Yeah, frame. These are the much anticipated 10,000 fish Yoto worms. And for some reason in this packaging, that a, it looks like a trailer or like a, uh, hold on. It's not a paddle tail worm. It says it can be used as a trailer, a Texas rig, a shaky head, or a drop shot. Okay. For some reason though, all the, all, every one of them's tails is bent up. I don't that's, mean... It's, it's, that's, it's, it gives it that action like no, that the water. No, look, it's bent out of its packaging. I know. When it's going through the water, it it gives it more action. It displaces more water to make sound to attract the fish. Well, that's weird because you can tell oh, it's a different how it's kind supposed of, to go in. It's a different kind of bait for sure. Okay. Last but most certainly not yeah. least. Every mystery tackle box gives you a sticker of some kind. This this, by, is this, this is by far my favorite of them all so far. I love this. Check it out. A Bass American Flag. America! So, Alright, hand me that box. <clears throat> you set it down there on your left, right there. Oh, look right at it. Now, some people may not think this is a big deal. It really isn't a big deal. I just think it's cool. Um, you look at the box and you say, oh, it's just a cardboard box. And say you're out on the lake or you're bank fishing, you're bank fishing or whatever, and you think, oh, I forgot my ruler. So you can't measure a fish. Well, guess what? You can measure a fish. Check this out. The Mr. Tackle Box has its own ruler. Now, that doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people, but I think that's cool. Now, to be honest, you put a wet fish on this once or twice, it's not going to be much bad, much good anymore. But I just think that's a cool feature for the box, you know, for the for the recreational fisherman or the beginner fisherman. You don't, you know, you got your tackle box ready, and you get out there and you think, you know, I got everything I need. Oh, Lord, I forgot my... I got my ruler. I don't have a way to measure my fish. But then you reach down your bag and you get your Mr. Tackle box. Voila, you got a you got a ruler. It's a temporary ruler, but it's a ruler. So it'll get I get you through a day of fish. Yeah, I thought that. I just think that's cool. I, I don't know who come up with that, but I thought it was cool. It says the keeper requirements for a contest entry: six dollar uh six dollars. Listen to me. Six inches for a panfish. It's a panfish. Brim. Crappy. No. Like, um, what we call them? Bluegill. Bluegill. Uh, trout, 12 inches. Bass, 14 inches. I hope I catch a way bigger bass than that. Walleye, 16 inches. Everything else, 18 inches. That's what I want. I want the, I want the 18 inch bass. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's from there to there. That's off the charts. But anyway, guys... That's the Mr. Tackle Box. Nate gets one of these every month for $19. Now, you go to Walmart. Let me see those, those, those baits. Where are the baits? Hand me all the baits. Baits, baits. Get your baits. Okay. You go to Walmart, Academy Sports. Nothing wrong with those stores. Great stores. Carry great lines of tackle. They carry name brand tackle. You know, Strike King, Booyah, they, they carry it all. But you buy each one of these individually, and you'll probably have, okay, for instance, a Booyah frog. Now, this is not a Booyah, but it's probably 
<laughs> it's probably squad. it's a Guggen squad. It's probably as good or better, in my opinion. It's something. Ba ba based on the way it's built, based on the way it's made, the craftsmanship. You go to Walmart and you buy a Booyah bait or Booyah frog, and they're like eight to twelve dollars a piece. So if you figure that swim jig is going to be about five bucks, and then you buy Senkos, which is what this is. Uh, this is their line of Senkos. You buy Senkos, and you buy these Yoto worms, and forget the hooks you'll probably have $30. And all of this came for $18.95, 19 bucks thereabout, give or take. I think it's a pretty good deal. And he gets this every single month. So check them out, guys. The Mr. Tackle Box. I think if you're a beginning fisherman, you're just learning, there's a lot of good, helpful tips in here. And it'll help get you going. It'll help tell you when you go to a lake you've never been to, you can refer to those things when you want to throw it out, and it'll tell you exactly where to fish it and how to, and, and if you don't know how to fish it, you can probably go to YouTube and find the tips to how to, how to fish it. But anyway, um, I think this is a cool deal myself. As I said, with every Mystery Tackle Box, they give you a sticker. That's the one that came with this one. And I'm racking them. I'm racking them up. Got some there. Got one on the sides. Got two he, got, on the back. he got this tackle box for Christmas, too. I got a freaking haul for Christmas. But anyway, guys, the, the mystery tackle box is a good investment. Um, we actually heard about the mystery tackle box from Noah at Kicking Their Bass TV. So, if you haven't if you haven't watched his his channel, go check him out. I think you'd enjoy it. Actually, he is the one that got Nate here interested in fishing. Cause I couldn't get this boy interested in fishing, no matter what I said, no matter what I did. But I thought to myself, well, if I can't go fishing, you know, I can't take my boy fishing. Well, I'm going to see if I can find some good fishing material on YouTube. So I just done a little search and Noah's channel popped up, Kicking Their Bass TV. And I started watching it and actually I was sitting in my recliner. Nate was sitting in on the laying on the couch and he looked he, Noah caught a pretty good sized bass. And Nate here looked at me and said, Dad. I said, Yes, son. He said, When can we go fishing? And I was shocked. So thank you, Noah. I appreciate that. You you helped spark some interest in this guy. But anyway, that's it for, for this video, guys. We hope you have found this information helpful. Be sure to hit the subscribe, subscribe button and hit the like button and bang that bell so you don't miss a thing. Right there, I've got the sticker already put on. Until next time, guys, this is Brian. And Nate. Saying live big. Live southern. And live outdoors. Have a good night, folks.